Some of the lessons that I've learned in my life from various experiences, whether people in Philly know me for selling DVDs or other things or whatever. When you sell things and you are an entrepreneur and you outside, and I, don't, I, don't, I want to be clear, that does not mean you have to be selling drugs because people try to package that that way. But anyway, you get a lot of lived experience from being broken. When you do not have solid family life, some of the hardest working people are like broken. They have got shit wrong with them. And so one of the lessons that I learned from being in these experiences, horrible experiences, not fruitful experiences that we turn into some lemonade, right? Was this experience that I had with one of these, uh, this person, I'll, we'll say he used to be a celebrity. What made me think about this was I engaged him yesterday. Somebody tagged me in something and they screenshotted something that he tried to remove or delete but you know it's the internet screenshots exist right and it was on x and it was him going back to talking about something that was not true about me i made statements like you know it's, it's interesting that dudes will focus on me but haven't done any work in their own particular lane now this person pretended to help me years ago without getting into the whole deal this person pretended to help me years ago with bgm when we started when reality it was nefarious snake shit that's the reality of it for years this person has followed me into the gun community followed me into the conservative space. Now probably he was gonna to try to follow me into the libertarian space. He's just, he's like an actor. It's like always picking up other things and never really identifying your core values of who you are. But nonetheless, for years this person continued to backbite and say snake shit in each one of these rooms that he was in. And when this post came up yesterday, I engaged a bit and he tried to pretend like, oh, I have no ill will towards you. I'm still a fan of your work. It's great that you took my advice on getting the RV, which never happened, never happened. He's a snake. And it reminded me of, in life, how you should always protect yourself. Because one of the things that he did was, he tried to then come back and say, maybe an hour, half hour, an hour after saying I'm a bitch, and he got a video with me with a tranny, and all of this weirdo shit, which is untrue. If you got a video with me with a tranny, sell it. Make money off of it because it don't exist, and you could get 100 million for it, do it. But anyway, and so he goes into, I'm still a fan, I'm still this, let's bury the hatchet, let's all of that. Now I started this conversation talking about how your broken lived experiences and fucked up shit that happens outside teaches you to always protect yourself, one. And two, when somebody shows you who they are, fucking believe them, believe them. And it made me think about Floyd Mayweather fighting Ortiz. And in his fight, the entire time Ortiz was headbutting him, rem reminiscent of Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. The whole time, Holyfield's headbutting him. Instead of dipping the punches, going around the punches, he coming in and up, headbutting. That's why Mike bit his fucking ear off. But the same thing happened in the Mayweather Ortiz fight. And I want y'all to look at this real quick. Bigger guys. Ortiz is still walking through Mayweather's big shots, but his right eye is beginning to stop. And Watch, and real quick. Here's the headbutt coming, headbutt. Floyd tells the ref, this has been happening the entire time. Floyd tells the ref and Ortiz, oh no, it ain't like that. Oh, my bad, bro. My bad. But the entire time Ortiz had been showing Floyd exactly who he was. This wasn't the first time that headbutt. Now you're trying to pretend like we cool. We're still competitors. We're still in the ring. We're still gonna follow the rules. And one of the rules is, once the fight is on, the fight is on. And right now, the fight is on. Bow, bow. Knocked out. Knocked all the way out. Here's the lesson. Floyd understand, understood that as a fighter with a perfect record, he is always in everyone's crosshairs, regardless of how nice they're trying to be with him in or out of the ring. It's him versus him in that ring, and his understanding of protect yourself at all times is the importance there. When someone shows up after being very, very rude, unjustifiably rude, when you were right, disrespectful, to the point of saying tremendous lies about you, not something that you did that when you was wrong and they checked you on it, but saying that I got a video with me somewhere with a tranny is insulting to my manhood. Attempting to take a section of my company because you pretended like you wanted to help shows me that you're a business snake. When we did a little bit more digging and saw that you've tried this same approach with other people and companies, at the time lesser known people, at the time I wasn't as famous. When we see that this is who you are, that means you've headbutted myself in this fight called life and you've headbutted others the entire time. And if now 
An hour after you just said I'm a bitch and I got you got a video with me on the tranny. Now all of a sudden you're attempting to feign righteousness and feign like, no, call me. Let's talk offline. Snakes always want to talk in private. They don't want to talk in public where the world can see. They, they, they hate transparency. They don't like the, 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 the disinfectant that sunlight is. And this is after public disrespect. This, this tweet post that he took down was a half hour to an hour before he said he copping his plea. I've always been a fan. Oh, I'm glad you took my advice. No, I didn't. That RV idea was mine. Other people have gotten RVs in the gun community and done what I've done since that. But I didn't ask anybody or get that advice from anyone. I got the RV because we kept getting pressure from planes to wear a mask and a jab. That's why we got the RV. So this person, similar to Ortiz, similar to Evander Holyfield, this person is showing you exactly who they are. They will pretend to be righteous to get you back into good graces so they can take care and take advantage of you again. If you allow it to happen, that's the fuck on you. These people are not righteous. Snakes speak with forked tongues. And it's your job as a man or woman of righteousness, peace, and understanding to exercise correct discernment and know who's who. That broken experience in life, you were homeless, you were sexually abused, you were this, you were taken advantage of. That lesson is the only good thing that came out of that broken system that created a space for you to even have to be exposed to it. Don't lose the lesson and still hold on to the trauma. When people like this identify themselves and try to use a public fake apology to try to get back in your good graces, you are 100% within your rights to forgive them, but you're a fool to forget. Be safe, be solutionary.